Yay. What's up, Shinobi? How you doing, sexy? take any bets on how long the internet will take to uh, crash again? <sighs> Alright, we need an ion cube. Aonite and some nickel. Hopefully that's all we need. Let's see. Ooh. Let's try loading that again. There we go. Maybe. Maybe. Unable to start it this time. Okay. There we go. Row. There we go. What's up, Shinobi? Welcome back to the Comcast Technical Support Extravaganza. Because, you know, a Comcast. <sighs> a company that can never do anything right.
What are we taking off? Maybe the teleporter? Lights, but actually connected to the land below not just a floating glacier oh by the way we do have a new emote as of today, our goldfish emote has been completed and uploaded and ready to be used. You know, since I have a memory of a goldfish, figured it was appropriate. E. <laughs> There's the derpy little goldfish. And appropriate for uh, Subnautica. Did 
Did he ever give us coordinates to this place? I just know it's in the east somewhere in like the edge of the world. Mega Laboratory. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within mm. a 10 meter radius. You need to start streaming again? You should. <clears throat> There's a lot of good emote artists out there. Marguerite. Personality markers. Marguerite is a highly distrustful, is highly distrustful of authority figures, especially those tied to corporate entities. She's strong-willed and seems cold upon initial contact. Not much is known about Marguerite. She was born and raised on the Mongolians in the Mongolian states, a backwater corporate colony exploited for its mineral resources. She left home at 16 and went on went from one mercenary job to another. Eventually, she did tours with the Mongolian Defense Force. Trans System Federation. She held an esteemed career before being dishonorably discharged from the TSF for going off mission. The details are unclear, but our resources have unearthed some scant details. Marguerite was the head of an intel and reconnaissance mission. We aren't clear what she stumbled upon, but she silently eliminated the entire local security apparatus over the course of three days. None of the local families would give more information. They only said they thanked God's hand for saving them. Her last mission was aboard the Degasi as private security against potential pirates and scavengers, which crashed on 4546B. The architect organs are effectively a network of biocomposite and cybernetic materials containing a variety of subsystems. The heart is a particularly complex centerpiece to this biological and technological hybrid. It moves blood and nutrients throughout the body to nourish and maintain the animal aspects of the alien corpus. While also functioning as the primary energy source for the cybernetic neurological system. Sensory input is processed and filtered into a dense network of incredible, incredible computational power, architect brain. No respiration or digestive system appear to be present, suggesting that life is fed entirely in, by sustained electrical energy in a body that can survive in environments that are otherwise extremely hostile to most life forms. In spite of its intricate design, the insistence on incorporating biological components exposes the architect body to the possibility of disease. Architect tissue. A leather-like tissue sample of alien origin. DNA markers indicate a complex mixture of synthesized, synthesized from over 20 different sources. The tissue sample incorporates advanced biocomposites resulting in unique mechanical properties. Extremely high compressive strength protects against external forces and may indicate adaptation to extreme environments. High resistance to damage from energy impacts. Oh my. I suddenly just got really tired. Low modulus of elasticity allows tissue to conform and stretch in response to body, lo body locomotion. <clears throat> this satellite bears the clear markings of the architect civilization. 
appears to have crash landed, though its structural integrity remains surprisingly intact. The satellite's internal design indicates that it was likely used for long range data transmission. The data transmission node in the storage housing has long been corrupted by exposure to the elements. The Newt. Suit. Reinforced dive suit. Probably should have made that. Bulkhead door. Water filtration. And snow fox. basically just blind you in front of you. You really can't see into the distance at all. I hear something and it's probably not friendly. off guy on to me so I can shock him.
Whoa. Dude, are you like attached to me? What the hell's going on? I didn't bring extra oxygen. This could be problematic. Now we gotta level it out. Extra oxygen. Budge. This is a real problem. I definitely don't have. behind straight ahead
Oh my. There are two of them out there? There are. Let me repair the ship from inside. I'm sorry, what? Put me back at the starting point? That shit? Why didn't you spawn me back at my base? Yep, big ol' F. I was looking for the fabricator base, but that wasn't it. It they destroyed my ship. I had two uh two two Leviathans on my ship, destroyed my ship, then killed me. Now I have to build a new sea truck. And probably... No, no, just a sea truck. I can pick up everything else. If I have the balls to do so. Welcome aboard, Captain. I lost the upgrades too. Titanium ingot, advanced wiring, glass, power cell, lead. 
and the ion batteries. Damn, that hurt. Oh yeah, it exploded. Had two leviathans on me. We're gonna need some more. Maybe. Nope, just enough. Uh, let's add glass. Lost my prawn and sea drug. Luckily, my prawn is still over there. It's just a question of whether or not I want to risk going near those leviathans again to re recover it. Uh, power cell. Uh, advanced wiring kit. It's deep enough to where I might not be able to swim to it. I mean, I would have to take a truck there to get it out because I wouldn't have enough oxygen to swim down there. No, we're looking for the uh, fabricator base. Chip, copper wire, maybe. I don't have any more coral. If you take a second, take it. Boom. Maybe. Well, then I'm slow swimming with my storage modules and prawn and all that. With uh, we might not win this one. Ah! Lost again. All right, come on, boys. Yeah, then I'd be swimming back with my O2 or my uh, sea truck compartments like that with those leviathans nearby. But we can try. Try a rescue operation after we get our new sea truck made.
getting low on titanium, so might as well get some of that too. Like, and silver. Titanium and silver. Oops. Didn't mean to pick that up. Oh yeah, I saw that there were tons of silver there. I'm not swimming all the way over there just for some silver. Maybe with whatever we need to do after this, we'll pick some silver up on our way back. salvaged all the coral in the area of my base. Probably not. Like, if I were to scan for it, I'd probably find a metric ton of it. I want to raise an army of the whole fish so I can have them follow me for infinite air. <laughs> So did you finish below zero afflicted or are you still working on it? Yeah, and the first one, you could find table coral pretty easily. And when you sliced one, it gave you like three or four pieces. Whereas this one, it's a little bit harder to find and you only get one piece when you slice it. played in two days. You know, the last thing I remember you saying is that you your ship got destroyed. Basically what just happened to me. <laughs>
And yet lithium is like in the shallows. <laughs> Lithium is so plentiful in this one. I didn't lose ion cells or my components. Yeah. Yeah, that really hurt. Those ion cells. Welcome aboard, Captain. I think I'll make some, but take them and keep them on me. That way, if we actually salvage this, we can throw them in there. Gold. I really don't have too much of a problem with lead. Just uh, scan for Galena fragments. You have tons of lead. Haven't really had a shortage. Yeah, your spot isn't very good for much of anything. <laughs> You're kind of in an isolated spot as far as resources are concerned. I think that's everything we need. Let's go find out. Oh, lead. off there and going down is down to my nuclear reactor I placed it down there because I don't like the very loud humming noise that drowns out everything including the jukebox and going up I have a platform set up oh, thank you magnetite I have a platform up there for my snow fox recharging platform Hey, what's up, Verdal? Yeah, I think I was pretty much mostly done with Pi Island by the time I built this, so. Sounds like somebody's taking a leak. Okay. So I have a horsepower upgrade already. We don't have the silver to make these, so fuck me. Okay. Peter Chip, Ruby. Polyaniline. 
Oi. Killing me, Smalls. Needing the silver. Silver is used a lot more. <sighs> Killing me, Smalls. I mean, who uses silver in wiring kits? It's all copper. Or gold. Come on now. Or if you're cheap nickel. Of course, in this game, it wouldn't be cheap. It'd be expensive as shit. I don't give the idea that was like any, any ideas. Yeah, I think the uh, Snow Fox charging station, I think it supposedly goes off solar power. So. That's why you have to place it on land. Well, let's take what we can. You know what? No, no. We have a scanning room. We can get silver. Helps you turn it on, though. even solar it uses magnets okay let's see that's the silver ore right here by the base titanium though All this work to get back and potentially lose another sea truck. I think I would have been okay if I didn't have two of those Leviathans on me at the time. Put a jellyfish down here. I wonder if he's still alive. Or did it get blasted? Nope. It's, it's gone. There it is. It's just in the walls.
Like when I was on the Fi base uh, island, I saw tons of silver. It's just didn't need it at the time. I was pretty loaded up as well. Welcome aboard, Captain. I want to say it's so advanced wiring kit we need. Yeah, the uh, computer chip. So, gold, copper, gold, two copper, two table coral. silver we have left. Enough for one more wiring kit. Put that there. Um, let's say I take a power cell and polyaniline. Gold. Salt. Missing something, but what? Memory of a goldfish. Which, as we said earlier, that new emote is active now. Wait, I made a computer chip. No, I made the advanced wiring kit. Okay. And two rubies. So. Oh, I made the computer chip. I, I had the table coral. What the shit? Huh? Wait. I didn't need the advanced wiring kit. I needed. Uh, yeah, I used the used the computer chip and the advanced wiring. Fuck me. I need to get more table coral. Scan for it, it's not too bad. Plenty of it around, it's just harder to see. Because it's not as grouped up and plentiful that way. More spread out. Fewer biomes, probably. Haven't gone looking for it in other biomes. If 
why I like where I, I picked to build my base. It's pretty much plentiful and just about everything except like the in-game resources. <laughs> Coral everywhere. the resource demand is more forgiving. I, I think the game is more is the same in this, in regard to being demanding with the exception of a few recipes they made simpler. Um, I think they just made resources a lot more plentiful. Copper, too. Okay. Wiring kit, lithium, sulfur. 